Hey guys, it's Will Ma here for Cardrunners.com. Today I'm going to be doing a replayer of me playing the Sunday Major on Full Tilt Poker. Next hand, King 8 offsuit, pitch it. King 10 offsuit under the gun, not going to be that hood and open. <laughs> Queen do suited here. Button open. This is actually a sort of interesting spot. Um, I mean, it's a no-brainer defend in general, but as you can see here, Bilalo 12, He's he's got less than 10 big blinds. So usually you're supposed to just shove here if you were him. Um, you know, maybe he's got aces and he's like trapping me, in which case I probably should be folding if he's got aces, if he turns up, if he turns aces face up. So um, that being said, though, I think a lot of players, they still will be doing this if they're scared. Like, I don't know. I think, especially when it's near the final table, the times that he's just got something like Jack-7 off and is trying to steal the pot and full to a shove, I think far outweighs the times that I'm going to call and get trapped by aces. So I still defend here. Um, yeah, I mean, the way I sort of think about it is... I, I let the I don't let the fact that he's less than ten big blinds deep affect me too much because I think the times when it's always aces sort of counteract the times when it's just somebody being dumb and playing scared. So uh, get a good flop. Obviously, there's obviously a lot of draws that can hit. So I think I definitely want to lead here, uh, especially when he's so short. I think. Um, I, I really don't want him to check back because I think he will check back a lot. If he just completely misses like with like ace nine or something, he's going to just check back and have seven outs against me. So I really just want to get it in here. I bet 40. I think that's maybe a bit big. I think it's unnecessarily big. I think betting's just half pot. 32,000 would have sufficed here. And it might have increased the chances that he got it in with uh, with a hand that has six outs or fewer against me i mean yeah because this makes it obvious that he doesn't have fold equity so uh i think the bet sizing doesn't matter too much but i think it would have been slightly better to give him the illusion of fold equity next hand nine eight off probably not doing much king nine suited on the button yeah not much you can do there blalo doubles up i guess Pocket tens, no brainer shove even against a tight player. He folds. King deuce off, not too much going on. Jack ten off, not gonna open from under the gun. So probably at this point there's maybe like twelve left. Five six suited. It's folded to us and we shove again. I discussed a similar situation earlier when we had nine six suited. Uh, here it's the same thing except we're a lot shallower now and he covers us but once again I think the best strategy here is to shove hold, shove fold most of your range and deny him the ability to play post flop in position and that's what I do even though he's seen me shove 9-6 suited and but I it's still 6-5 suited with uh, I guess 14 bets is just way too easy of a shove um, I guess it's actually a bit more because the blind, the antis are a bit smaller. Um, the antis only some do three quarters of a big blind. So, but still, like let's say it's sixteen. It's the equivalent of sixteen big big blinds. Um, even six four suited is a Nash so, shove. So, I'm definitely shoving here. He folds. Deuce three off. Ace jack off. Here I just shove all in. Um, yeah, I mean, I think that's fine. I think ace jack off, it's sort of, if I bet small, if I just raise, I don't even know whether I, I can call uh, a re-steal. Um, if, if I make it, if I min raise and say uh, Susie San Sanchez shoves, I probably have to call, but I'm not too happy about calling. And just by shoving myself, I think I get out of a lot of post-slop situations that aren't that easy to play with ace jack off so i think either would have worked here i could have raised small and reacted or shoved i think maybe in i mean the, in theory i don't think shoving is good because you know it's sort of exploitable i don't think i'm really shoving i'm definitely not shoving aces here so i'm basically only shoving like ace jack ace king ace queen and like sevens through sevens through eights maybe or actually sorry i'm, I'm definitely shoving like fives uh yeah maybe like fives through eights and hands like this so 
it's not theoretically a great play, but I think in practice with the final table bubble on the line, just getting everyone to fold is so good. 